a critically endangered tree, Maduka diplostaman, a native to India, and we thought it was extinct for 180 years. Not 80 years or not 18 years. For 180 years, we thought Maduka diplostaman was extinct. We found this tree in a sacred grove in Airavalli Temple in Kolam district. This is Kuneil Airavalli Shiva Temple in Paravur, Kolam district, about 50 kilometers north to Thiruvananthapuram. Down there stands the most sacred tree, the only surviving tree of Matuka Diplostman species. Kavilippa, as it's known locally in Kerala, Matuka Diplostaman grows up to four meters tall. The leaves are spirally arranged, crowded towards the tip of the branches and ovoid in shape. And the apex is also rounded. The bark of this tree is fissured and it produces thick white sticky larynx. It was the researchers from Palur Botanical Garden who worked behind the rediscovery of this rare tree. The same institute is planning to undertake conservation activities and a species recovery program. The leaves has a prominent midrib, which is crested on the surface. The flowering and fruiting seasons are from January to March. My visit to this temple was on 26th October 2020. It is assumed that other trees of this species might have been cut down when a temple expansion took place, but the temple authorities are protecting this rare tree which belongs to the Sopotasia family by building a retaining wall around it. In his famous work, Icones Plantarum Indiae Orientalis, I don't know how accurate is my pronunciation. It was Robert White who described about this species. In 1848, he described it as Dyspyros opoeta, and in 1960, P. Royal renamed it Maduka diplostaman. Thanks to the Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanic Garden and Research Institute in Palo Tirvanandavaram for this rediscovery of Maduka diplostaman, a critically endangered tree and endemic to Kerala. And endemic to Kerala. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video on Maduka Diplostaman, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.